And on the environmental front, New Jersey is using solar, wind, and biodiesel in its efforts to find cleaner and more reliable sources of energy. Now the state is turning to the power of ocean waves to generate electricity. Environment correspondent Ed Rogers has that story. The idea of wave energy as a new source of power is beginning to crest. State and local officials held a press briefing today to announce that in the next 10 days, this buoy will be placed four to five miles off the Jersey coast for testing and development. The third time it's been deployed, the bobbing motion in the ocean generates power. Inside the buoy, we have what's called a power takeoff system that converts that lateral movement, that stroke, into a rotational movement, and that in turn turns a generator. Inside the buoy is that generator that actually is what making the electricity. Ocean Power Technologies of Pennington built the power buoy. The company, which employs 42 workers, has received one and a half million dollars in state loans and grants to develop the technology. The idea is to anchor a series of the buoys to the ocean floor. The buoys would be connected to a power line that would run to shore. Company officials say six of a larger size type buoy can provide power to 1,000 homes. We have one system that we're installing in Hawaii that will be connected to the grid on the island of Oahu. Uh, another one that we're working on with the Spanish utility Iberdrola on the north coast of Spain. That too will be grid connected. Dunleavy says the company believes that power buoys will be competitive with wind turbines and that they have little impact on the marine environment. Buoys have been in the ocean now performing for many, many decades. So it's a structure that starts with something that's well proven and benign with in, in terms of its effect on the environment. Also has very low visual profile. Uh, it's just about 14 feet above the surface of the ocean. So when you're five miles out there, you barely see it. New Jersey's energy master plan calls for the state to get 30 percent of its energy from renewable sources by 2020. I think it probably can be interspersed with the offshore wind turbines that uh, we should have up uh, by 2013. Uh, so it's pretty exciting because the population base is along the ocean and that's where this electricity will be coming from. As long as all the necessary environmental permits are granted, the hope is to have a utility scale power buoy system in place off the Jersey coast in three to five years. Ed Rogers, NJN News, Atlantic City.